Here I'll be working through question two of the 2018 uh, level one mechanics exam. Where is question two? Right. Willow and a mountain bike have combined mass of 82 kilograms. She accelerates at the start of the race at 0.8 meters per second. Calculate the net for force acting on a bike on the bike and rider when accelerating. So this is a little bit tricky, but I suppose it might throw you off. Um, net force means like total when everything's added together. Sure, there's gravity, but there's support force as well, which acts in the opposite direction, which, as we'll soon see, cancel out. The unbalanced force is this one here. So force equals mass times acceleration. Um, so we get, what is it, 82 times 0 0.8, and that equals 50, uh, 60. 5.6 newtons, and I'll just put down the F equals 66 newtons because 2SF, 3SF, it needs to be done to the lowest amount. All right, this is, <laughs> I just cop, I didn't manage to get actual exams for year 11. So on here is actually meant to be a picture of a bike, um, but bear with me. Um, I'm pretty sure the bike's going to the left. If I, oh, I'm going to try and draw a heinous bicycle, I'll just draw one wheel here. I'm, I don't even know how a bike goes. You probably got something like that. There's your forks. There's your main stand. Or maybe I might be able to draw a bike. There's your main axle down to there. That's your main tube. And you got your handlebars like that. And there's your seat. As you can see, oh, I'm going to check some spokes in there. I am very artistically challenged. All right, that, I think that's pretty much what it should look like. Close enough. So I'm going to draw it. This is going to be my center of mass that dot there, um, and I should really swap out pens and pencils, but whatever. Um, draw and label the diagram. So she's gonna have FG, F, uh, sure, what I'm, I'll call this FG, and then I'm gonna call this, and then you should use a ruler for this, because these need to be exactly the same size, so I'm just freestyling it, F, uh, S, and then she's gonna have, moving forwards, I'll draw it, no, not too big. I'm going to call this uh, FP. That should be P. And I'll draw this a little bit back, and I'll call this FR. Right, you have to have a key. If you want to do it like that, you're going to have to have a key. Where FS, support force. Because if you just draw those letters and don't have a key, the examiners have no idea what you're doing. Support force. FG, weight force, F -O -R -C. you can put FW if you want, I don't really care, um, FP, pedal force, force, and F, uh, this air resistance, air resistive, I don't know if that's supposed to have force, I assume that's how you spell air resistive, right, explain the sizes of the forces involved when Willow and her bike are accelerating. So I'll pause, write the answer, and discuss. All right, so I've said there will be weight force, that's FG, and support force acting. They will be equal and opposite. So they cancel out, those opposite, not opposite. Um, so they cancel out. So if these weren't balanced, they'd either be accelerating up and lifting off the ground, or falling in, like, going into the ground, and you, you don't get that, you don't want that. All right, air resistance will oppose pedal force, Air resistance, by definition, always opposes like the force and the op like the driving force. So if you have a car moving forwards, air resistance always acts opposite the driving direction of the force. Um, but it will be less than the pedal force. Um, otherwise, it'll actually start decelerating, or the force would act backwards, so it would start slowing down um, or going in reverse. Um, this unbalanced force will accelerate the bike because the Air resistance is less, which implies by default the pedal force is more and that'll accelerate the bike. Sweet as. Right, we have, what do we have? Willow had to choose between two ramps to ride her bike up to an incline. It takes less time to use ramp B. Um, is the work needed to get to the top of ramp A more or less or the same as work needed to get to the top of ramp B? Explain your answer. Um, I'll pause, write the answer, and then discuss. Right, so I've said the same. Um, the gain in gravitational potential energy is the same, so the work done will be the same. Um, work is energy. That, that, like full stop. That's that's what it is. Um, if you do work to a system, like say if you get a drink bottle and you shake it up, 
you're adding kinetic energy to the water molecules, and in turn, that kinetic energy turns into thermal energy. So if you actually shake a water bottle up, um, you'll actually heat it up. It's only by like millionth of a degree because you need to shake it a lot. Um, and water has, well, H2O has a very, very high uh, energy density in order to raise the temperature. But if you're going from the ground to that gravitational potential height, um, or that height, you're going to be, however you get there, the work done will be the same, but your power might be different. Um, and the force that you exert might be different, but you still need to get there. So you might extend, the work done might be done over a large amount of time. And then we'll lead on to this question here. So, um, Explain how two ramps uh, differ in terms of force and power needed to write up them. Calculations are not required. So basically it wants a written answer. Um, right, so I'll pause, I'll write the answer, then discuss. Right, so what I've said is ramp B, will, ramp B will require more power as the work done is the same, but the time taken will be less from power equals work over time. So this here is constant. If you decrease the time, it means you're going to increase your power needed. Um, ramp B will require more force as the distance is less and the work is the same. So either way, the work required to get to the top is going to be the same. Um, ramp B, as you can see from the photo, it's, it's going to be less distance from here to here, so the force must be more. Um, you can answer this question conversely. So I could go ahead and say literally the opposite for ramp A, um, but uh, that pretty much answers it. Like, it just says how they differ. It doesn't say say how what B is and then what A is, so that's fine.